Hi Scorpios, welcome to your reading for whenever you find this. If you do find this before September 9th, um, you can put free reading in the comments and I will enter you in a drawing to win a free reading. Um, I'll announce the winner on that day. Otherwise, thanks for being here. I hope you enjoyed the super whole blue moon in Aquarius. Um, I feel like those of you here who have been doing your shadow work, a lot of you have may have experienced like a really nice, um, really nice full moon energies. Other people, maybe not so much. Um, so yeah, I hope that went well for you. Let's just jump right in, see what spirit has for you today. Well, that was really nice. The sound bowl was really warm and it made it a nice soft sound. Sometimes it's a little bit shrill. All right, let's just jump right in with the tarot, I think. Oh, nope. This one was our, okay, this was our last poll um, by Robbie Yogini from the Kali Oracle. And it's basically about um, clearing out what needs to be cleared out and grounding in the root chakra. So maybe we'll be in a continuation of that reading. Um, I think also I might pull from the Kali Oracle deck. Spirit, please protect this reading. Send any negative energy back to sender, transmuted tenfold for the greatest good of all and harm to none. Archangel Michael, please bring clear, concise messages through. For my Scorpio collective and Mother Mary, please bring compassion to these messages. Holly, please cut any negative energetic cords to energies or entities that are no longer serving our highest good. Send them on to the next greatest plane of existence and burn the karma sticks associated there with in the violet alchemical flame of St. Germain. Amen. Amen. So mo to be. That was a weird thing to happen. Okay. Let's see. I am going to pull one of these oracle cards. Kali Kalmasa Nasini. So I haven't been working with these cards for that long, but I can feel like we've pulled this card before, number 42. Um, I can feel like there's certain energies we're working with that, like, that it's not going to give me, it's not going to give me more than we can handle, <laughs> is what I'm hearing. She's like, okay, we'll just keep working with these energies. We'll bring some new ones in when you're ready. You might be 42. Your birthday might be the 2nd, the 4th, or the 6th of November. And I'm still learning these cards, so thanks for hanging in there with me. She devours darkness within her endless hunger for light, peace, and redemption. She reaches the deepest places, the darkest spaces, relentless in her pursuit of the lost and despairing. No soul shall ever be forgotten, abandoned, or betrayed by her. Those that believe in their own guilt, their sin, their shame, evoke her mighty tenderness, and she feasts upon the darkness that threatens to consume them, alleviating the weight of their suffering, allowing their hearts to become light and free. Kali Kalmasa Nasini translates as she who consumes sin. She's the sin eater, which is really cool. Um, hers is the power of Pashupatrastra. The Sanskrit word, which means ultimate spiritual weapon. Um, the more powerful you become, the more aggressive, aggressive or forceful you must be. That's a common thing. But the Divine Mother offers us a different perspective. You can be simultaneously fierce toward ego and kind toward the heart. With true power comes wisdom, and wisdom knows when to be gentle and how to obtain ever greater outcomes through tenderness rather than force. We do the same thing... Um, in yoga, like if you're, if you're sort of, and I have a yoga channel if you want to check it out, but if you're trying to force yourself into a pose that your body's not ready to go into, one, you, you might hurt yourself, but also the body surrenders into the pose and we find ease. We, we are able to become more flexible the more we just surrender and release and breathe. So there's certainly something here about surrendering your past to Kali. If you work with her, that could be a good idea or any guide really that you um, enjoy working with but if you're here Kali may be um, speaking to you she's a, a really um, prevalent guide 
worked for me. What about the past? The Queen of Cups reversed. So in the past, you may have like uh, snapped a little bit, like lost compassion for someone, something, and possibly yourself. You could be holding a grudge against yourself um, for what happened in the past. Maybe um, you, the devil, okay, maybe you were um, addicted to something or had to, you know, conquer some devils and that's okay. That's normal. The Six of Cups, totally. Are you like stewing right now? Are you dwelling on the things you did in the past that... Wow. The High Priestess and the Knight of Swords. That's interesting. So you're dw dwelling on things that you did in the past that made you less than compassionate towards yourself and others, especially if it involved addiction. You may be recognizing this as an inner child wound with a page of wands and the Six of Cups or recognizing the, the moments um, in your childhood that helped to perpetuate patterns that were sort of unconsciously cycling or spilling out into your life and these behaviors. And through your intuition and your connection with the divine, you have the strength to establish, Boaz and Yakin, he has strength, he establishes, um, you have the strength to establish a new um, spiritual foundation for yourself from what is dead. The pomegranates behind her indicate Persephone as well as the veil into the underworld where Persephone um, descended. And she comes back to the land of the living for, I think, three months out of the year. In the spring and into summer. The Knight of Swords I don't understand, though. The sun and the lovers reversed. Two of Cups. Page of Cups reversed and Temperance reversed. Okay, Temperance reversed came out twice. Um, once before I started shuffling and once now. Um, let's see. It's interesting that you have the devil here with the lovers because they're mirror images of each other. But the lovers is reversed. I think maybe the way that you were expressing love in the past is something that came from lust or possession or sort of shadow um, expressions of intimate relationships. You could be in typical Scorpio fashion, possessive, jealous, um, and intense. And you may be learning how to overcome these patterns. The lovers reverse with the knight of swords. Intuitively, you may think that, like, maybe this is, I don't get readings like this a lot lately, but this could be somebody coming towards you, and intuitively, you know that, who left a love connection because they feel like this two of cups connection with you uh, like a soul a soulmate energy um and they may have left this relationship because of like somebody this is so weird message i don't know maybe it resonates with you because somebody said they were gonna have a kid a child like somebody said they were pregnant and then they weren't, um, and my heart goes out to anybody who has to go through something like that, but, and I think that if this person's coming towards you, they may have some, like, healing to do, because they're leaving a situation where, like, like they thought they were locked down, because kids were potentially involved and now suddenly they aren't um really strange message okay what's the high priestess the queen of swords and you might just put this person in their place um 
in a really kind way. I love the Queen of Swords because her crown chakra is open. She knows exactly what to do, what to say. She knows how to delegate and mete out justice. And she also knows how to be like savagely cold. Um, and she can be savagely cold while looking like a like a cat with cream, if that makes sense. She'll 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 say something that sounds nice, but the implication of what she's saying is is cutting and leaves no room for debate. And this might be the energy that you're in. And I think whoever's trying to get through your your walls or your defenses, they're in this Knight of Swords energy. They're trying to serve you. They're trying to like like offer their services to you this may not be a, a love connection the lovers reverse this could be somebody um who just they just want to be of service to you huh strength and the sun could be a leo Um, I don't know what, I don't know what this reading is. What's the Queen of Cups with the Page of Wands reverse? So page, Ten of Wands reverse, Eight of Wands reverse, and the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody, you? You have a brand new beginning, Ace of Pentacles. Brand new. Brand spanking new. Um, gold and shiny. You're walking through this garden gate and the spirit's like, before you go, here's this giant pentacle. Ta-da! Um, like Monty Python style, right out of the clouds. And this inspires you? Something from your past inspires you, though, in this new beginning? Into this new beginning? What is that? The Knight of Cups? What's with these knights? The Four of Cups... The Wheel of Fortune. I think um, whichever Scorpio I'm talking to, this is certainly not new for this collective, but you are sick of romance. <laughs> You're like, I am good. I am solid. I do not want to go there right now. Thank you. <laughs> um, you may also, with the devil and the Six of Cups here, It, there's some there's some part of you that enjoys romanticizing romance but you know yourself around those sorts of connections and you are <laughs> ten of swords <laughs> ten of swords you're like i am done betraying myself that way i'm done prioritizing those kinds of connections right now like i'm good i'm solid um, so, I don't know, whichever group of Scorpios I'm speaking to, you might be in um, a time of abstinence, which is okay. You could also be tempted. The Devil, the Six of Cups, the Ten of Swords. You could be tempted by somebody coming in from your past. And this is like a good thing, this person coming in. Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Pentacles. Because you might want the opportunity to express yourself to this person. They want an opportunity to express themselves to you. And I feel like your response is just going to be like, well, here's where I'm at. Um, this is what I'm doing. Join me. Or go the fuck away. <laughs> what is this? Whose reading is this? Eight of Swords. I don't know why this is making me laugh like that. Um, you might laugh when whoever this is approaches you. Like, you might think it's just riotously funny. Like, riotous. Just, oh, you're here. Why? Why are you here? Um, okay. Eight of Swords, Three of Pentacles, Reverse, Seven of Pentacles. This combination of cards has been coming out for you a lot. A 
Oh, the star reverse. So you've had things fail for you in the past. Uh, love, work, <laughs> emotions just bottomed out. You're a Scorpio. We know that over and over and over. Tower moments, ego deaths. You're familiar with these. What you're doing currently, though, is not familiar to you, and that is stabilizing. Um, and this has come out in your readings in the last month or so. You're stabilizing. And you're fighting every instinct within you to self-sabotage, especially if you self-sabotage through like codependent connections or um, say you're sober and you're tempted to like fall off the wagon. You may feel a little bit stuck in being able to progress forward because you may have obsessive thoughts around sort of fighting off this devil this demon but with the wheel of fortune here major arcana number 10 and the ten of swords the ten of wands reverse and 10 10 10 has been coming out for you all a lot too um i think that unburdening yourself focusing on your stability and realizing how your own thoughts come in to play a part in your self-sabotage is really helping you oddly eight of swords this is a strange um message from the eight of swords but i'm sort of seeing her play coy here it's like she knows she can get out, but she just likes being tied up. Like she might be, you know, you might be into bondage or something. Um, but she's kind of smiling. She's kind of like, hee hee. And I've never noticed that before. There's also the peaks of these, like this castle on the shoreline way in the background. And it's like she's stuck here at the shore waiting for the tide to come in and when the tide comes in you know it goes up to her face and it'll drown her if she doesn't get out so there's a part of you i'm hearing emotional bondage like you like to be emotionally bound to others yeah codependence but you're also establishing a sense of independence right now three of pentacles reverse the star reverse seven of pentacles so what is the deal? It's like you're not willing, you're not able right now to step into your individual, like your individuation? What? Four of Swords reverse, turn it over to Spirit. Queen of Pentacles. It's just, this, I feel like it's just the same message, like you're afraid of stability. So who is this? What is this? Who's this Knight of Swords? Soulmate energy. Four of Swords reverse. Okay. Ace of Swords. Queen of Wands. Six of Swords. Page of Swords reverse. Ace of Cups reverse. King of Pentacles reverse. Seven of Wands reverse. Knight of Wands. Magician reverse. Judgment reverse. Eight of Pentacles. The Hierophant. This person... Whoever this is has been going in circles. I'm hearing going absolutely mad. Um, yeah. I think that's all there is to say about this person. I, I think that they... Knight of Swords? They had like a major, major fear of commitment. And they also doubted their spirituality for a long time. Maybe even their sexuality. Um, you're the Queen of Pentacles. I see this person showing up as the Queen of Wands. They might be like, they might have transitioned since you knew them last, like from male to female or female to male. They might identify with more female energy, despite being um, a masculine. This is, they come in to tell you basically, like,
all the people they if they haven't transitioned right like this another reading for this is all the people they've been dealing with in matters of love didn't love them didn't see them they saw them as a an object as a queen of wands they objectified them they saw them as somebody who could be strong and stable for them right they saw them as something with temperance reverse page of cups reverse something bold and flashy like this sword no one bothered to get to know more about them on a real level and it just drained their emotional energy it drained their stability their finances and their energy with the seven of seven of wands reverse sorry i hit the mic um the knight of wands this person has had plenty of fulfillment in the um intimacy department with other people and it's like i'm seeing all these cards as like people on a sampler platter which is just a really um unflattering image of what it's it can what it can be like to be out dating and to find yourself just sort of jaded um from the cycle the cycle of like connections that that miss the the mark of of deep meaning and scorpio you know everything about that um this person does not have to be a sexual connection and i'm actually getting that they probably at least at first are not they're just somebody who really appreciates you for being um for having depth for being able to see them to listen to them to ask questions to be curious about what is behind their 22 22 on the timer behind their flashy exterior external self like there's something because of what you've been through your high priestess as well your intuition and your own experiences with conquering your devil that allows you to see the truth of this person you might work with this person eight of pentacles the hierophant um you could be connected to this person through some sort of contract or establishment or a tradition even that's interesting you could have similar values to this person or similar traditions but this connection could lead to could lead to a long long-term commitment if that's what you're looking for i think this person has a lot of work to do though um i think you're pretty stable and you're feeling pretty good and i think you're happy when this person arrives two of cups whoever this is uh, somebody came in through your last reading too and it was sort of this person's going to trigger you was what came up in the last reading so the trigger might be the truth that they offer you they might give you some sort of truth and it wasn't what you expected it to be and and you might feel kind of i'm hearing compassion you'll have compassion but you might even you might feel a little overwhelmed by the the magnitude of their experience i think um whatever it was that was weighing on them but i like that you have the high priestess and the hierophant here you could work in a capacity with this person to do spiritual work for other people um yeah that's that's all that's all i'm hearing for that the chariot cancer season might be significant could be dealing with a cancer or um this is coming in hot this person is coming in quick and if you're not dealing with anybody and you don't expect to be and you're a total hermit any any other person in your reading is potentially just a projection of qualities of yourself so this could be you encountering qualities of yourself where you're like wow i really this is what other people have been like 
getting from me and my energy or seeing in me and my energy or projecting onto me. And you're just seeing things more clearly, balancing that masculine and feminine within you. Um, Rosicrucian style, right? Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior. That's um, confirmation for that message. Justice reversed. Yeah, you've been through it. We, we understand. But you're seeing things from a new perspective. The moon reversed. Delusions. Three of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. Two of Wands and Death. This is you... Um, I don't what is the delusion so if this if this is someone else coming in they're coming in to be like what i did to you was wrong people in the world have done messed up things to me and it messed my head up and I had to get my head right because I was heartbroken um, from like neglect, like childhood neglect wounds, or those were also perpetuated in like relationships. This person thought they were choosing their own happiness, but they see happiness with you, or they had to get to a place where they were emotionally happy to be able to feel good about choosing you. Interesting. Okay. I like that. That's good. You don't want somebody coming in and like just giving you all their their baggage. Um, but you know, we're human beings and we help each other out and we all have baggage, so grace. <laughs> Three of Cups. That's nice. Four of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. You have a good community, you have a stable foundation. And you have a really wonderful vision of what makes you feel happy. And I think this person can certainly add to that. They can take your nine of cups to the ten of cups, essentially. Um, six of wands reverse, ace of wands. We opened with that message of surrender. The six of wands reverse can talk about that surrender. There's seven of wands reversed over there, too. Surrender. Let down your walls. Surrender. Um, there's a lot of green on the six and seven of wands as well, which indicates the heart chakra. And the ace of wands can mean um, sexual connection, which has come up a couple times in this reading. Um, if you have been abstinent or celibate, and if this person's kind of been around, um, The Ace of Wands indicates, like, I don't know why this message is coming up again, but it, it indicates, like, if you're connecting with this person, you can sense the energies of other people that they've connected with. And because you're so intuitive and this person's connecting with you in that way, um, I'm hearing, like, Tantra? Tantra? Is that how you say it? Tantra? Um, they might start to become aware or more aware of subtle energies as well and start to realize like who like what those other energies are in in their space like they haven't really established in a in a long while at least this this sashimna like long line of vital energy and cleared it out you know they haven't had that clearing out to really recognize themselves so whoever this is whether it's you or like you and some internal like projections of self or whether it's you and somebody else there's there's clear like big clarity coming and a big energy like clearing out kali kalmasa nasini especially around um shame from the past guilt from the past anything that was in the past like it's being left there which is beautiful because we're um we're here after the full moon the full moon is waning and it's a beautiful time to release and let go, make room, clear this clear room for your manifestations to come through in the next full moon. Um, and then as we get to that waning moon, of course, we get, or the, the new moon eventually, right? In a couple of weeks, you have that sacred void that 
um, womb of darkness. But it always reminds me of the seed underground before it reaches um, the light. And that's where all the potential for the manifestations coming towards you lies. So you're releasing um, shame about maybe about your sexuality or um, maybe this person has an, an STD or something, um, which also does not come through in my readings a lot. But I was thinking about the devil, the queen of swords reversed the ace of wands and like the repeated theme of sexuality with shame from the past um this person could have been just going round and round like wanting to tell you and not able to tell you or something and you could already intuitively like no <sighs> what a weird reading okay death that's you my friend nine of cups Wheel of Fortune. All right. I think that wherever you're at right now, you're in a good emotional space, which is awesome. You're also very fortunate and karma is in your favor. We talked about karma and the moon um, energies. So uh, this reading, it's like you don't even have to worry. You know what makes you feel good. You know how to proceed. Seven of Swords. You're just doing your own thing. Seven of Wands reversed again, and the Six of Swords. You're doing your own thing, but you're able to... I don't know. Uh, so you had some readings come up at the beginning of the month where it was like, you're seen. People see you. And it's like you've let some defenses down, and you're in this Nine of Cups energy, and people are seeing you. Oh, that's what Scorpio is about. Oh, that's that's how Scorpio does what they do, or whatever, whatever this is. <laughs> And it's really bringing you a lot of good luck and fortune. And it's helping you move on to calmer waters. The Page of Swords reverse keeps coming out. This is somebody who's like spying or wanting to get information from you. And the Ace of Cups reversed. Somebody who wants you stuck. Somebody who wants you stuck. Nine of Swords. Okay. I, what the heck is this? Is this just your self-saboteur? Is this just you being like, I need to know more in order to have my new emotional beginning? Because Spirit's saying, no, you don't. <laughs> like, stop rehashing the past. Three of Cups came out twice. Um, temperance. Upright. Okay. And the Nine of Wands. I don't know what else to say about this reading, Scorpio. You have a good community around you. You have a really, you have good balance. Somebody could have been watching you to see how you stay balanced. How do you stay balanced? This person could be um, their own self-saboteur. Like you could be mirroring another. They could have another person. Or it's just like a lot of people around you are seeing you as you are, what you're doing. That Nirvana song keeps coming through. Come as you are, as you were, as a, yeah. So that's, maybe listen to that song and the lyrics. Memory, yeah. Yeah, you're giving your memories over to... Kali Kalmas and Asini to be transmuted into useful information. The way that your memories are currently attending your mind are in this sort of like chain. It's a chain, like on the devil card. It's to hold you back. It's your mind, your ego playing games with you, and you know this. Um, and this Three of Cups might be like you, your person. And then the ego mind that gets in the way and just wants to jump right in there. 34, 34 on the timer. Um, Ursa Major. The bear constellation. Um, you could have some affinity with bears. It's also, I think, the seven sisters. You could be a Pleiadian or um, identify with, like, star children. So this person might connect with you just because you're I don't know you could talk about being a star child or offer some sort of spiritual like um media 
that somebody is hearing and this could be somebody you don't know at all but they feel like they know you from a past life that's interesting and you may need to help them sort of temper their um awakening yeah in the last read you came out as sort of like a guru this is you being like look i've been through it i get it we need to establish some energetic walls so you don't get lost in the ethers while you're going through this experience you could be harboring somebody um offering them refuge or shelter even just by holding space yeah seven of wands reverse you're holding space for others i like that you're stepping into your role role as a spiritual healer the star upright yeah this is you switching timelines from being somebody who um maybe is in connections wondering like where is this connection going to go or how is that going to work or what what is why am i offering my energy to this person and instead you're coming from a place of i know what i've been through i know my skill set i know that the universe isn't going to send me anything i can't handle and right now the universe is sending me this person how do i use my discernment to help them gain their own discernment um the emperor and you're very uh confident in your ability to do this because it's like spirit has called you to this you may have even wished for this you may have even wished to be like a healer or a, a guide or a, um, a life coach or a therapist somebody who offers wisdom or knowledge or guidance to others in terms of spirituality the truth ace of swords you could work with archangel michael as do i call on him to bring you clarity eight of wands things are going to be moving a lot more quickly there might be a lot of messages back and forth between you and this person or messages back and forth between you and spirit you could be getting a lot of downloads six of pentacles you're balanced though in the material as well as the 5d four of wands uh, um, i don't do a lot of twin flame readings either although they have been coming out more lately four of wands is the twin flame card and this twin flame may not be a sexual connection although um the opportunity for that is there um the the focus of it more importantly is spiritual energetic work and you're you're maybe so well aware of this that if this person comes in trying to like just want to sleep with you or something you could be like look let's learn about what connecting with other people sexually does to our spiritual energy um and you could be learning this with this person and maybe this person if they've been around like their cards were saying didn't know this before or hadn't considered it or didn't know like they didn't practice clearing out their energy afterwards so whatever this is however it goes there's some an opportunity for you to offer at least space a safe space so that somebody can get clear connect with their guides and come into balance and move through that 11 11 portal in their own time i really like this combination of cards a lot you temperance and nine of wands you know and six of pentacles four of wands it's just all like very balanced like you know um what and when to say like you know what to say when to say it how to say it so that this person is delivered the messages that they need but also comes to them at their own pace so you're not proselytizing you're not telling this person how to do what what you did because it's not the same they're going to have their own process but um you're helping this person into their own process and i think you're going to just love watching it unfold without attachment to the outcome or without a feeling of of like ego enhancement for yourself from having been that like for them because it's not you it's spirit you're an open channel for spirit to come through 
And so it's like you've just done all of this clearing and now you you have the privilege of witnessing the beauty that unfolds um, as people come to their their divinity. And that's just freaking gorgeous. It's like you activate that because you're in that space of being connected with your divine self. So again, it's not you. It's just the divine being allowed in um, by letting go of our shame from the past. Whew, okay, I love this reading. I think I think we're done. Um, I want to pull one card. The Seven of Cups reverse. If this person had a lot of options, they're like not entertaining those anymore because they may actually be just going through it. Like they might have a spiritual awakening right now that is messing with their head a little bit. I think whoever this person is, you love them very much. Like as a whatever they are to you, just a soulmate in an innocent way. The devil could be dealing with a Capricorn. That is really interesting. You are um, aware that you are helping this person battle spiritually. The devil, their demons. Look at this card. It is so cool. A jackalope. <laughs> Let's read it. Number 15. When you choose to sit on the couch and binge watch an entire season of a TV show while eating a pint of ice cream instead of tackling a nagging chore that needs to be done, that is the energy of the devil testing you, creating an opportunity that feeds your desire for comfort. The devil brings indulgence, succumbing to slothfulness, blah, 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 and choosing that thing that satisfies our immediate needs instead of facing a challenge. Resisting the devil can be daunting, to say the least. We often don't recognize it until it is too late, as this crafty creature disguises itself as something intriguing or desirable. One weekend of being an overindulgent couch potato is something everyone needs once in a while. However, when it slips into becoming a daily habit and unhealthy addiction forms and breaking it will be far more complicated. In the original chore. The devil, devil is cunning and astute researcher of human nature. Its power resides in understanding our weaknesses as it knows which strings, when pulled, will have the greatest and most destructive effect. When we choose silence over speaking up, when we play small out of fear of being ridiculed, that is the devil's work. The energy slips in to create a seed of self-doubt and then reinforces it by feeding ideas for a much more appealing scenario, one that doesn't cause pain. When we refuse to face reality, when we allow ourselves to stay put in a destructive pattern or habit, when the pain or suffering required for freedom is too extreme, we are at the devil's mercy. This creature finds delight and strengthens when we fall victim to our worst character flaws. When the devil appears, you may need to examine if something masks itself as an easy solution or a less than challenging alternative. The jackalope indicates myth, legend, man-made and mystical. You may be tempted to turn this person away. And I think spirit is encouraging you to understand that you're a conduit or a gateway or a holder of the keys to a portal for this person to step through into their better selves. And this doesn't involve you giving over your energy in a way that compromises you. I think that that's your fear with the seven of wands reverse here, nine of cups upright. You're kind of like, I don't know, you're, you're feeling good right now. And you're feeling like you don't need to have your defenses up right now. When this person comes around, you might feel like, no, no, thank you nine of wands like i've been through it with you we're not doing this but the truth is you have a lot of power here um in again just holding space for this person if this person's toxic or abusive of course don't compromise yourself for that but you have the tools in whatever way that that is indicated to you through your connection with spirit to navigate holding space in a way for this person bringing helping to bring clarity to them you may even be an exorcist i don't know this reading was so trippy i hope it resonated if it did let me know
like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you all next time.